Hello again, this is Dr. Daniel Gillenwater here at Eastern Oaks Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama, and I'm coming to you again with your PSA, or Practical Sermon Application, for the week of September 23rd, 2012. If you've been with us for the past few weeks in worship, or if you've been watching these PSAs over the past few weeks, you know that we are looking at the book of Daniel. In fact, we're doing a sermon series that we've titled, Daniel, A Modern Guide to Political Incorrectness. In this study, we are looking at and exploring how to live godly lives in an ungodly world. This past Sunday, we wrapped up chapter 3 in Daniel, which is the historical account of three men by the name of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Many of you may remember this story from Sunday school as a child. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to bow down to a golden idol that Nebuchadnezzar had made, and so Nebuchadnezzar threw them in a fiery furnace. His intent was to kill them. His intent was to burn them up in this fiery furnace. Last week, if you were with us, we looked at some characteristics of Nebuchadnezzar. Well, what we did this past Sunday was we looked at some characteristics of God. And we said that, you know, even in your worst trial, as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were obviously experiencing a very, very difficult trial in their life, we realized that God never forsakes his people we realize that God is able to deliver us from any trial. And we realize that God can use our worst trial for His glory and our benefit. You see, when we look at Daniel chapter 3, when we look at the instance of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I very seriously doubt they wanted to be thrown in a fiery furnace. I said in the, in the service on Sunday, I doubt they were sitting around on their breakfast table that day and said, Hey, you know what? I'd love to be tied up and thrown into a fire. I doubt that's what they were thinking. And yet by the end of the day, that's exactly where they found themselves. Bound up and thrown into a fire. And get this, they didn't do anything wrong. They found themselves there because they were trying to do what was right. They were trying to obey God. They were trying to do the right thing. And yet they found themselves probably where they didn't want to be, burning in this fiery furnace. Well, they didn't burn there, but they were in the fiery furnace. You see, it's in our very nature that we want to be comfortable. We want to be comfortable. We want things that are easy. You go to Walmart today. The store is full of gadgets and things and doodads that will make your life easier and more comfortable. We like being comfortable. But what we find in life is that oftentimes if we follow God, if we obey God, sometimes God will lead us into situations, into places that aren't comfortable. That aren't easy. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are a perfect example. They followed God. They obeyed God. But they still found themselves in a fiery furnace. But what's so amazing about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and what we see in Daniel chapter 3 is that even though they were where they didn't want to be, God used this for His glory and for their benefit. God did something amazing that they would have never expected. All because they followed and obeyed God. I said Sunday, I don't know what each one of you is dealing with. Maybe you're going through a difficult time in your life. Maybe you're going through a fire in your life right now. I want to encourage you with these words. Just as we saw in Daniel chapter 3, God does not desert his people. God is able to deliver you from any trial. And God can use your worst trial for his glory and your benefit. The trick is you have to remain where God wants you to be, even if it's uncomfortable. In Daniel chapter 3, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego find themselves in the fiery furnace because they obeyed God. And they also saw God do some amazing things. They saw King Nebuchadnezzar, for instance, end up praising God. In Daniel chapter 3, verse 28, the scripture says, Nebuchadnezzar answered and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. God used this instance to glorify himself. He also used it to benefit Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. In verse 30 it says, Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. I don't know what trial you're facing. I don't know what fire you're in the middle of in your life. But if you are where God wants you to be, I encourage you to stay there. God hasn't forgotten about you. God hasn't deserted you. God has big plans for you. God can use that fire in your life 
for His glory and for your benefit. But you've got to be willing to remain where God wants you to remain. I'll be praying for you this week. Hope you have a wonderful week. I look forward to talking to you again. Goodbye.